Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you're all doing great. Welcome to an episode in the Rails API series. This is gonna be a very short episode and all we're gonna do in this episode right here is we're going to uh, correct, so well, error handling basically, that's all we're gonna do. Um, so basically in our session controller, we need to handle the case where, you know, the password, when the user enters the email and the password from the client side and sends it over to the server side, uh, we need to respond correctly. Right now, we're just using head unauthorized, and that's causing an error in our front end. In our front end. Um, I can probably fix the code in the front to connect library, but I don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and fix our controller code. We should be responding proper JSON anyway. We shouldn't just always be using head unauthorized. So um, I'm going to show you guys how to do just that. Uh, we're going to hop right into the code of the Rails API controller, and then uh, we're just going to modify one line and then basically we're gonna hop right back into the React intermediate to finish off the alert component and the error handling and all that stuff. All right, let's get started. All right, so here we are. Uh, so this is the culprit over here. Uh, it's rendering head unauthorized. And uh, so what I actually wanna do is I wanna change this up. Uh, I, all we really need to do is in this episode, uh, you know, is we just need to um, change this line over here to render JSON and here it can be error. And here we can just call invalid credentials. And then um, we can just do a status unauthorized. Yeah, that's basically it. Uh, and what this is going to do is it's gonna make our app respond properly like with a proper JSON. So if I head over into the, uh, the front end over here, uh, let me do a reload real quick and I'm gonna do is and log in and type in the wrong password. I'm gonna click sign in. So we can see here the the error is gone just by correcting that line. Uh, and here we can see the response error invalid credentials. So uh, that's pretty much it for this episode. It's a very quick one. Uh, I just want to get this out uh, out of the way. Um, you know, we're gonna jump back into Rails API eventually, and uh, you know we, we're gonna do some real major work in the API to extend it, to build it, to you know be, make it become actually really like a full-fledged Rails uh, API app. So um, with that, I want to wrap it up for this episode right now. Uh, and uh, this is a free episode, so uh, become a member to get access to all of our content. All right, so that wraps it up for this episode uh, of the Rails API. Uh, and so we just did a quick change and basically now we're gonna hop back over into our React uh, intermediate and we're gonna do the proper uh, error handling and all that stuff using our alert component. Uh, so yeah, with that, I wanna wrap up this episode. Uh, also, by the way, if you guys landed on this video in YouTube, um, without any context or understanding what's going on. So this is one of the video in uh, one of the many videos in our Rails API series. Uh, if you want to learn how to build an API with Rails, check out our website. We have a Rails API series and you can see the entire playlist in chronological order and when we started all the way down to this point uh, and you know also become a member so you get access to future episodes. Uh, so with that I want to wrap up this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.